So fix this up. Script. Um, type equals JavaScript. All right. And this go back here, and we'll save it. And it goes away. I don't know how that happened. Um, okay, so everything looks good now. We'll format it again, just to make sure everything looks nice. So we have support for persistence. We did persistence by setting these to empty string, and then putting them here. Um, next we want to actually have, uh, let's say, email error. That'll be empty and password error will be empty and birthday error that'll be empty and we'll come down here and we will print those things so this will be email error uh, let's get rid of that Put that back take this just to try to make our life a little easier this will just change it to password two s's obviously and this will be birthday so we'll essentially print nothing if there is no error and uh, this is something spelled wrong here I'm assuming so we'll go back up here and see what I how I actually spelled it uh, birthday okay so birthday format it save it and the error is gone now so we will come here and we will get the email error from the validate email function which we will give it the email to validate we will get the uh, password error from the validate password function by giving it the password and we will get the birthday error from the validate birthday function by giving it the birthday and if the email error dot is empty and password error dot is empty you're just seeing if there's no error uh, and the birthday error dot is empty and this will say um, that uh, input is all good so that'll let you know um, that you should add the user for example so uh, save it and uh, Eclipse seems to keep doing something weird so crypt and save it and that's fixed Let's see what this is up going on these are all good Okay, so next we are going to actually write these validation functions. So basically we're going to see if email dot length actually we'll see dot is empty. This will check to see if it's this the string is empty or not. And if it is, we'll say this field is required. So the goal of this function is to catch any errors else if email dot length is greater than 32 we'll have an error that says this field cannot exceed the length of 32 and finally We will write uh, email dot matches, and we'll put regex to kind of try to recognize an email. And this is the way I usually like to do it: is we check for a word, more than one word character, 
We'll check for a dot, followed by a bunch of word characters, and that's optional. With an add symbol following that, we'll have a word, more than one of that, with a dot after that, another, and then we'll have a word, two to four words. So this will be logan.murphy at uh, temple.edu, for example. And if it doesn't match that, then uh, invalid email. Okay. So for the password, I'm only going to check for a few things. If uh, the password dot is empty, then the error is this field is required. And else if password that length is greater than 24 even though in the database it's 32 um, I'm gonna encrypt it eventually and after I encrypt it um, the size will end up being larger so it can't exceed 24 so that's the only thing I'm gonna check for the password and for the birthday we will check um, if uh, birthday dot is empty and then we'll put the field as required here. Else, if, well, we'll do an else. And we will get a simple date format. Um, 